Hello everyone, so you find me in the kitchen, which is where this week's Movember challenge is going to be taking place. You see, tonight I'm going to be cooking myself my tea, which doesn't sound hugely challenging as such. I mean, I do cook for myself, alright, but usually my typical week to week sort of extent of cooking things is shoving a pizza in the oven. I have done more complicated stuff and today is one of those days. So today, I'm cooking tuna pasta bake. So as you can see, I've got all the stuff out, and I've done a few things such as grease this dish, measure out milk, grate cheese, and then I've currently got a pan boiling, boiling water, ready for putting some pasta in, because that is the first step. Okay, pasta time. Ah, bugger. All right. Get that up a bit more. Uh, hmm. Good ten pages if I do it like that. There we go. Ooh. Lovely. Right. Leave that for a period of time. In the meantime, I've got some other stuffs to crack on with. Okay. So in touch saucepan, just out of frame here. We have some lovely powdery stuff, which looks like you would use to make bricks with. Um, anyway, got just over 200 mils of milk here, so I'm going to sort of mix it in to make a paste type deal. In fact, I'm going to tilt you guys down so that you can see that, because you probably prefer to see that than my ugly mug. So. And I'm dripping it all over the bloody chopping board as well. Oh, this is... this is... this is... This is a thing! Alright. I'm gonna mix that all around. God, this looks minging. Oh, it doesn't smell much better either. Alright, there you are. Lovely paste. But hey, look at me here then. Almost look like I know what I'm doing here, don't I? Almost look like a proper chef. There are two things at once, and not very well. <laughs> right. Um. Right. Let's shove some tuna in. Now, personally, I think that looks absolutely disgusting. The only good use for tuna is, uh, well, this. So, I'm going to get all of this in here. If I can. Oh, it juices, it's minging. Oh. Right. Oh bloody hell. It's all kicking off. Ah, sweet corn. Right, sweet corn. Uh don't want a huge amount. Ooh. Um Yeah, that should be alright there. Yeah, so that timer then means I've got to do something with pasta. Quite what I will figure out in a minute. Because right now this is my main concern. Um Right. Okay, so draining pasta, obviously always run cold water to, you know, combat the boiling hot water that's going down the sink and through your pipes. And uh, there's still loads of stuff. What am I supposed to do with all of this? Ah! A few moments later. Right, so I managed to actually get all the pasta. No, I didn't. I got most of the pasta out. Um, so this then has got to go in here. Is that even still on here, that is? Right, let's get pasta in there, and there's a couple little bits at the bottom of here, so we'll just scrag them out onto the uh, hobs, of course, because that's what you're supposed to do, not. Um, it's alright, I only dropped a couple. And then just sort of mix this around. Oh, nice squelchy sounds there, lovely bit of ASMR, which you guys probably can't hear. Right, so, it's time to get this into this. Um, yes I am, but currently kneeling on the floor just so you can see me for that a little bit. Alright, so, let's get this into here then. Try and make sure it's all evenly mixed throughout. Look at that. It's actually starting to look edible now. <laughs> and I probably haven't sound, made this out to sound particularly nice thus far, but no, that's actually looking quite nice now, I must admit. Got all the bits off the bottom as well, and then uh, sort 
splat it together thusly. Okay, and then get some freshly grated cheese. Totally didn't forget what the word grated was then. And oh yeah, look at that. I, this I could do a cooking show. I could. Okay, so there we have it then. I've actually covered that fairly evenly. I'm, a, a pro could, a pro could definitely do better. But anyway, let's get that in the oven. Let's bake it. Right, so we're at the dishing up stage. I've got two plates over here because I haven't done all of this just for myself. I've actually made some for Dunk as well. So, oh yes. Go cool, on, look at that. Very nice. Very nice indeed. Right, so I need a uh, servey up -y thing, namely all this. And how's best to do this? Probably split it in half. Yes, that is my cat in the background, in the nuisance as always. And then let's just sort of yeet it on. To make it is one thing, but actually knowing how to dish it up in itself is actually another thing. I could, I'm could, i sure I could plate up far better than this, and I, in fact I have done in the past. But, to be honest, this isn't something you can make look as appealing as dishes with multiple colours. Anyway, it's just sort of yellow, pretty much. So, you know... Fifty shades of yellow, so uh, yeah, anyway, that's it served up. So, I suppose the only thing left to do now is norm. Okay, so then, taste test time. Um, no, actually, Dunk's already tucked it into his, so let's just spin round so you can see him. What are you thinking then? Different. Different. <laughs> it's like the same as your mum does. Really? Uh -huh. Look, because my mum, right, hang on, my mum has a reputation of being a culinary genius, she, but she is amazing at cooking, hence why I don't tend to do it that often, but uh, seriously, she she is a really good cook, so I'm, I'm very much doubting that this will be as nice as hers, um, but, oh yeah, that bit's cold because it's been on the edge of the plank, but... Not too bad, not too bad. I don't think it's as good as hers. I could already tell, but... Hey. What is one's biggest critic, I suppose? Anyway, leave me to it. Okay, so, review of my tuna pasta bake, then. You know what? It was actually alright. Um, there is one criticism. There was a lot of pasta. Um, yeah, no, I put way too much pasta in. But other than that, it was alright. In fact, actually, it had a slightly more cheesy twang to it than normal, which I actually really quite liked. Um, so yes, yeah, so overall, I'd say that this has been a very rather successful challenge, which I'm actually very pleased about, because the physical challenge I had planned for today couldn't do because of the weather. So, hence why you've got this, which has been a bit of an unusual challenge, but, like I say, I think it's been a Pretty good challenge so hope you guys have liked it if you have give it a like of course um in other news a couple of days ago i actually surpassed my personal unofficial fundraising target of 100 pounds i think we're up to about 117 pounds in fact so we're actually not that far off the 125 figure which is the second target that i set on my november page um Having, having, of course, surpassed the £50 mark within a week. Um, but yeah, so we're just over halfway through the month now, and yeah, £117, so that's absolutely amazing. So a huge, huge thank you to everyone that has donated, and a huge, huge thank you once again for you for watching this video and for sticking with my Movember journey. Give you guys a little mow up day. Like I say, we are over halfway through the month now, so yeah, it's doing pretty good. It's doing doing really good actually. I'm impressed. Anyway, we'll ignore that bit of cringe, shall we? I'm gonna hate editing that, but anyway listen, I'm gonna end this one here. So, past me will catch you on Sunday for another Scotland episode. And then future me will catch you same time, same place next Wednesday for 
our final Movember challenge of 2024. I've got something really exciting in store. So tune in then. Bye for now, though.